viewer, Monday morning racer here behind the wheel of the Gearhead Coffee Street Stalker at Langley Speedway, about to go green for 40 laps at this little bull ring. It's going to be a wild one, I'm sure. Everybody getting settled out. Got to be real, really careful here at Langley about coming off the corner and it over-rotating, breaking loose on throttle. So definitely going to be watching out for that and watching out for what happens, uh, happens ahead of us. Oh, we got one flipping already. And we're in it. Oh, I don't know where that guy came from. Wow, that was bad. He just shot up the track out of nowhere. No cautions in these lower ranked races. Uh, this is a rookie class race, so well, let's pick up the pieces and see what we can do here. Car isn't hurt too bad, seems like. Tires weren't even affected that bad. Didn't really spin out, just got punted into the wall. Let's see what we can do. There's that over-rotating I was talking about. So the rear tires may be a bit warm. I think they are. Let them cool down and we can get back in a rhythm. Oh, we got a blinker. That's a connection issue with the person up front. We just blinked that once, so maybe it's not too bad. We've shaked out to be in 13th position. That's not great considering where we started and just having cars in front of us and I felt like I was going to be able to get in a rhythm and start picking some people off. I'm sure though that the attrition factor as usual in these races will help us. So earlier, I raced at the Texas Road Course in the Street Stalkers. That was a lot of fun. That was a higher level race. I think it was a C license race, C class race. And definitely looking forward to going back to Texas on the Road Course. And hopefully get the next one recorded. I wanted to just try it out. Honestly, I went into it not realizing it was the Road Course. I didn't read it right. I thought it was the Oval. And it was the street stock cars on the interior road course, which was a lot of fun. And I'm glad that I had driven that particular road course on Project Cars because it helped me to be able to go out there and race. Because I, I was shocked when it was the load screen came up and it's like, oh, this is the road course. Oh, wow. Got a faster car coming up ahead of me. Behind me, excuse me. And it's got plenty of people just still spinning out, losing control. I really like the uh, Mellow Yellow Days of Thunder scheme going on in front of me. Must be the leader. Getting lapped already, but was taken out lap one or two. Let's see if I can use him to help me get around the 11. He's working the 11. The 11's not giving any room, though. I'm sure the leader is not going to let that be the case the whole race. He'll move them if necessary. He does get underneath them. Opens the door for me. 11 comes back down. Langley is definitely a track in which you think you are gaining on someone. You think you're ready to get back in the throttle. You get back in the throttle and you're like, oh, nope, never mind. And you've just killed whatever gains you thought you had. So it's better just to wait it out, let the car get hooked up and 
and then drive. I think. I say that knowing I'm not the fastest here. Actually, first time I've raced here in these cars, and period. Terrible in the turn one there. Oh, it decided to kick out a little bit on me. Under braking. Oh, the 11 got in hot. got other people ahead of us getting in hot. There's, they see the leader coming and they don't want to get past, they don't want to get lapped, and there is definitely a big group of cars ahead of us. I hope the leader can traverse that delicately. Slowly creeping up on the 11 here. car definitely it, getting in a little bit too much brake and car started to come around on me held on to it right here with the 11 just not sure what I've got to do now to get around him he does that though There we go, round the 11. Let's see, where does that bring us? 12th right now, does that bring us to 11th? It does. All right, hopefully we got one more to go for the top 10. Work on, looks like the 15 ahead of us. We've got 14 laps to go. I'm, man, the laps have clicked off fast here. I've been surprised by that to look down and see 14 to go already. Thought I was gonna have more time to work on this bigger pack of cars. Looks like it's a 13. 13 is ahead of us. A little too much break getting into one there. Thirteen knows I'm here. You can definitely tell, at least I think, his driving has changed. Oh, there's that Langley over rotation, loose off. And they're racing in front of us. We might be able to pick up some more spots here. More than just the thirteen with under 10 to go, 8 to go. Right here, right here.
I don't know what happened there. I think the 13 tried to chop down and I got underneath them and didn't move them out of the way either. See if we can get the seven. We're in ninth right now. Oh wow, the traffic that was faster really messed us up. He's like, we're gonna try to do three wide. Oh! Oh man, what a mess of a race right there. That's it. Uh, we came away, I think, 10th or 11th, but that was a while. One hate to hit the guy in the number two there. Right before the end, it got wild. Looks like we're going to finish ninth. No, we are number nine, and we finished in 10th. Looks like we finished in 10th. Wow. That was another wild one.